innovative. Ladies and gentlemen of the California Trap Trinity, hold on to your cush blunts and your lace fronts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Come it's on. your boy that always shine and keep the promos right on time. That's right, the promo king himself, product five stacks and count. You already know who it is. It's your girlfriend's favorite cameraman, Respect the Shooter. And you are listening to Cali's Finest on Power Radio Nation, broadcast live on iHeartRadio. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen of the California Trap Trinity, hold on to your lace fronts and your cush blunts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Cali's finest radio authorized by the people. This is your boy that's back for more. Promos hot and always score. That's right. The promo king himself. Product five stacks and counting the inmate running this cuckoo's nest we are broadcasting on power radio nation on over 50 platforms around the world to the millions and millions and millions of ears to get their daily dose of the streets and yo my boys are innovative cultures on visuals and i know they got me today's get up and grind quote you know this definitely fits for my mood right now everybody that's fucking with me already fucking with me so i ain't worried about it that's ti baby that's my quote right there. I don't worry about the new acquisitions, the new friends, because if you're going to make a new friend, it's somebody that's going to genuinely gravitate to you and connect with you anyway. And you don't have to jump through no hoops. You don't have to do nothing crazy. I'm just saying, dude, the success of everybody around this table, tell me if I'm wrong, the 99.9% of that success is due to your grind, your effort. You know what I'm saying? And not worrying about what the next had to say. So that's that's why that sticks <laughs> To me, like glue. You know what I mean? So, okay, so now I want to make sure that I get to everybody around the table, kick it to my co host, shooter, do your thing. Well, you, you already know. Is this camera on cam? <laughs> <laughs> you already know what it, who it is. It's your boy, Respect the Shooter, uh, AKA Out of Town Shooter. You can find me on Instagram at Ford Boys Films. That's Ford, like the car. BB? Boys with an S, films with an S. But if Come you really, on. really, Stop really want to find me, you can find me at hashtag your girlfriend knows my real name. You already know. But you Boom. have to address me as respect the shooter. Nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm going to start doing. Be like, nigga, what? <laughs> Church. But go ahead. Go ahead, mama. What's up, y'all? Y'all already know who it is. L.A. Hottie. Make sure y'all are tapped in on so all social media platforms at T-H-E-E-L-A Hottie. I just dropped today, too. By the way, y'all, I'm a hustler featuring yeah. Little Tall and Phenomenal. Make sure y'all go run them numbers up under L.A Hottie. That's on all platforms as well. And y'all already know. Go ahead. Go sh- show some love. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that. And y'all already know don't at me if you ain't motherfucking nasty. Nasty. I love it. I love it. Hey, man, so how you feeling? I'm feeling good. You're I good. just dropped some music today, so yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Loving the hair, loving the black hair. Thank you. It looks great. <laughs> I feel like I'm a new person because mm-hmm. I miss my color already. Damn. Brings out like, like he said, it brings out your face more. Good, it really does. Uh, I appreciate that. Who the fuck is name Lil Tall? <laughs> You'll see later. It's one of my favorite. Uh, there you go. He's tall. There you go. A little tall. <laughs> no. Why he just thought of uh, I already know. Uh, like, let me, let, yeah, let me. Hold on. Little and tall. I want the homie. Little and tall. You're going to see him later, though, because we're going to show my video. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to we gonna get to that. We're going to get to it. Okay. Let me let me get to my boy right here because this is the debut of my homie right here. We've been we've been mapping this out for a minute. Now it's finally here. I want to welcome to the trap trinity, my boy. Now yours, Dex. Talk to the people, Dex. I'm Dex, man. You hear me, Cam? Oh, that's I'm good. All right. <laughs> that that part right there. I'm just Dex. That's it. That's right. I'm looking forward to some of your opinions, Dex. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now across this table from you, let's 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 get to the royalty. Of the, of the segment around the table, okay? Now, both of these gentlemen are videographer royalty along like with, like my boy Shooter. Gotta give him his flowers too. But these two gentlemen right here have been all over the place, have worked with some of the names that... so They've worked with people that you probably can't even sit in the same room with. Like, and I'm keeping that shit real. 
You know what I mean? This ain't even gassing, gassing them up. This is reality. Okay, now firstly, right here on the right side, my man has worked with people like Roddy Rich, man. Yeah. He's yeah. been traveling. Y'all is traveling yeah. on planes all the time. Yeah. Mouth full of gold, Hello. swagged out. Hello. Got his seed on his lap. Hello. I love this thing right <laughs> here. Welcome to the yeah. Trap Trinity, my boy. Now yeah. yours. Off air. What's happening, my yeah. nigga? It's only up from here. Stop you know playing. what it is. <laughs> man, top flight, baby. Top flight, man. No, come on. Now they know I'm on <laughs> air. You know, <laughs> you know what time it is. But look, okay, so now I want to talk to this gentleman right here. Now, when I first started doing what I'm doing, I've been doing this for about four years. And this is I always tell a little something, a little background. I've been doing this for about four years now. Now, all these artists that I have bumped into one of the names that always seem to come up when it comes to shooting videos early on and still now mm -hmm. is voice too hard and that's factual For sure. so i just want you to we're gonna just get this man round of applause man both of these niggas man round of applause man welcome to the trap trinity for sure for sure man thank you bro for even pulling up you know what i'm saying um, okay, so what we like to do here at uh, Cali's Finest Radio is we keep our fingers on the pulse and we always get results. So we do what I like to call trap activity. That's where we talk about things that are going on in the, in the local trap and the, the, the trap beyond, you know what I'm saying, all around the world. Okay, now firstly, some good news. Take off's alleged killer, uh, Patrick Xavier Clark, has been formally charged with murder in the Migos rapper's shooting death. So um, I think that's good news. You know what I mean? Because, you know... Um, Man, it's sad to see take off, you know, leave us the way he did. Um, and um, to know that his killer is going to be brought to judge, alleged killer is going to be brought to, to justice is, is a big thing. Firstly, I want to get into into it with you gentlemen. You guys, including Shooter, you're included. You guys work with a lot of artists and a lot of different genre of artists. Now, some of these artists, I remember a long time ago, Shooter, you worked with an artist and you were like, man, I'm I'm not doing gangster videos no more. Uh -oh. yeah. So, uh -oh. <laughs> so my my thing is is when you because violence and hip hop kind of do go hand in hand. I'm I'm sorry, but it's true. Modern hip hop mm -hmm. goes hand in hand. Does that ever bother y'all as as videographers, like knowing that somebody gonna be saying in they because you got nothing to do with the lyrics. Right. But knowing that somebody in they saw they you know you filming and they like yeah shoot a nigga don't knock his noodles on to his baby mama lap like you know what I'm saying and you shooting this shit right. you know what I'm saying does that ever does he ever you ever think like damn like the fuck expand on it if it's no then that's fine you know yeah, but expand on that for me talk to me that's a good question y'all don't I mean, work like, with like some gangsters bro man, like for man, real I came from that type of shit. you feel me so. yeah. I mean, it ain't really, it don't scare me and none of that, no. like, you feel me? But as long as they about business, you feel me? At the end of the day, I ain't part of that. Nothing personal with me, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm about mm -hmm. business. I, it's I, the I, film. You can work with Crips or Bloods or whoever, you feel me? I'm I'm about business. I ain't discriminating. Dollar is green. You feel me? Okay. What's one of the more? I'm going to go, I want to go to each one of y'all. <laughs> I'm going to start with you off here. Talk, tell me about the most dangerous uh, shoot you've been in. <laughs> Man, uh, what do you say? <laughs> five, five, uh -huh. <laughs> five, five. Oh wow! Uh, man, I feel like my boy yeah. Crip back, man. He had me out there outside. You no, feel me? This nigga had me. With I, I had to take a battle buddy, man. That's what we call it—a battle buddy, <laughs> battle somebody buddy. that can like help this. me out. You feel me? So, oh, yeah, I, I definitely, story. man. Crip Mac just basically like he very just authentic. He ain't about to put on no front or none of that. He like, oh, fair, we. We out there. We on 55th Street. I'm like, damn, we got to be on 55th Street? <laughs> the same street everybody yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> Did it, you feel me? It's like, bro, but like, I feel like he, he about business, though. You feel me? He he not about playing around. He like, oh, for real, we got this amount of time. We got 55 seconds. You feel yeah. me? Oh, it's all about business. It's about getting it done. You feel me? But it was dangerous. It's dangerous. Me? I ain't gonna it's lie. dangerous, though. It, it, no, bro, off top. I'm a, we going to get into a little bit of something right. about Crip Mac in a little while. Sure. Yeah, but, yeah, voice, sure. talk to me about the most dangerous or the most compromising shoot that you've been in. Dangerous? I don't know. I've been to, like, Plenty of them. Yeah, <laughs> right. enough of them. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Probably the most recent uh, with my artist, Doggy Style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk about it. Yeah, you know, we just shooting the last scene at the park, you know. and What park is this? 
I forgot what park it was. <laughs> what city? Yeah. What city? Boys? It was in San Bernardino oh, for sure. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just about to... Pick a park, nigga. Yeah, it was, it was getting dark. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We outside. We done filming. We just hanging out, talking. And then, uh, yeah. You know, things got to happen. Yeah. yeah. I feel it. Well, like damn, the 4th man. Of July. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shooter yeah. show turn, man. Uh, I stopped just because... Not that I'm scared. I've been. Nah. I'm from Compton, so I've seen. I've seen it all. But I got a. I got a company called Wild Black, so I felt like it would be stupid for me to be promoting some dangerous stuff about black people when I'm trying to get the positive out there. You know. Yeah. So the Wild Black thing is whatever you're doing, Wild Black walking, jogging, you put on top of it. So that's what I'm pushing for. But I was in New Orleans. That was one of them. And I swear to God, like bro, it was like six year olds with guns, bro. I was like, this is a dangerous city. So that was one that them, they pointed it at the camera. I'm talking about kids, bro. Pointing a gun at the camera. Take a picture. So, but uh, the most dangerous thing I've been in was artists. We went to go. I went to go shoot this video. I met up with him. I didn't know what hood he was from, but he had like 40 dudes with him, right? Huh. So I'm like, oh, this, this a lot of dudes for this video, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, but everybody walked by. The, we in front of the store. Everybody walked by. They banging on them like hard, jumping, like running in front of the cars. So I'm sitting there like, bro, these niggas is on. What the fuck? Then we drive away from the, uh, we go to another neighborhood. And niggas was talking. And they was like, yeah, bro, we just shot a video in the enemy neighborhood. I said, bro, what the fuck? That's why y'all niggas was on like this. Like on every car, on every dude that was walking, bro. Crazy. I was like, y'all took me to y'all enemy neighborhood to shoot a video, bro. bro. And I had no I idea. <laughs> so I was like, bro, I'm That's done. Crazy. I was like, this, this is it for me, bro. Yeah. That's what's it for me. I, you know what? I remember a story you telling me when you went. I, I'm, I'm not. I can't. I'm maybe Florida. It was somewhere you were, and you told me about. This was years ago, and you said you shooting the, you just shooting the footage of the dude, and the dudes is holding all of these niggas is holding toolies, like all these niggas is holding semis, mm-hmm. and the dude is like tell them like. You know, hey, shoot me like this. Shoot me like, turn the gun sideways. Shoot me like this. No, 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 shoot me like this. Shoot me like, and this nigga like, dog, like, is this shit loaded? I remember you telling me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, like, this nigga's tripping, bro. Like, man. It was on lean and stuff, too, so I'm like, yeah. bro, these niggas is oh, on, yeah, bro. Yeah. They too, yeah. I already know it can get crazy, but you know what, though? I will say this. I know that to be a true artist, and to which is, that's what you guys are. Let's not get that twisted, because you guys are that's artists. They creatives. creatives, right? right? When it comes to being a creative, you're not really a passionate about it if you're not willing to put yourself in a bind from time to time. Mm-hmm. Got you. I agree. You gotta mm-hmm. be willing to do that. Sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because fortune fortune favors the bold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's and that's that's like that's really a fact. Um, we're gonna go ahead and roll into a quick break. Okay. We're gonna feed you guys some music. This is Stax Smooth Sounds. If you'd like to hear your music heard on this radio program, Power Radio Nation, then please email me your tracks to Kelly's Finest Radio 1 at gmail.com. The C A L I S F I N E S T radio number one at gmail.com. All right, now when we when we get Yo, back. Hold on, brother. You know I gotta say my shit. Oh, do your shit. It's gonna cost you. Might cost you a little, might cost you a lot. But, but it will cost, cost you, brother. You, you got to pay for promotion, man. You want to get out fact. there as an artist, you have to put the dollar down yeah. in order to get out there. Trust me, nothing comes free. So it's going to cost you, bro. You got to be willing to invest in yourself. You wanna- and and we're going to talk about how you guys make sure you get your dollar point across. Because I know y'all run into it where it's like, well, I got this or I got... Nah, my nigga. It's the price. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about that too. All right. So look, it's up, it's stuck, and ain't never coming down. California's finest radio. West Coast, nigga. We'll be right back. I'm a hustler. I'm a motherfucking hustler. If it ain't about the money, don't call me. Don't text you niggas by me. I'm a hustler. I'm a motherfucking hustler. If it ain't about the money, don't call me, don't text you niggas but me. See one thing about me, I'ma get to the bag. I'ma go out there and get it, I ain't gotta shake ass. I'm on a mission, solo mission, do the shit on my own. So when I make it, please don't fake it, I'ma shine on my own. Ain't got no time to love a nigga, we just fucking ain't no feelings. I'ma hustling all these niggas, ain't no love, I need these figures. Scared to put me on it, fitter, I might just be greater. And trying to put a bitch on game just like a fucking hater. Huh, look, I'm really laughing right now. Y'all really try to count me, I'm a useful fool, use a clown. Say how the angle never make it, do you hear how you sound? I was dumb, but now I'm up, car drafted in the first round. Huh. These bitches scared, I'ma pass them up. Got these bitches feeling low the way I'm moving up. Have to 
some bitches off cause they was choosing that But I'ma charge it to the game cause I don't give a fuck huh. I'm a hustler I'm a motherfucking hustler If it ain't about the money Don't call me, don't text you niggas by me I'm, me. I'm a hustler I'm a motherfucking hustler If it ain't about the money Don't that's call me, that's don't that's text you niggas by me Walk into a room and everybody ass shake Throw that booty in the blender, call the shit an ass shake Once the rhythm's flowing, everybody bounce a pound cake I can walk into a room and everybody ass shake I've been spitting my flow amazing just the way it goes All my beats hitting, they go crazy, I know it got the nose I've been at party, and, ay, I shake it with the hoes Paying attention, making my life feel like an overdose I'm going crazy when the math and I show Hit the pipe, hit the swipe, hit a nice flow Racking up the points, throwing up a free throw Nice and grabbing on the mic and I spit some heat, whoa I only party with fun motherfuckers Not no one in ton motherfuckers Give no fucks about no motherfuckers Who aren't here rooting for me motherfuckers mm. I'm a hustler I'm a motherfucking hustler If it ain't about the money Don't call me, don't text you niggas by me I'm a hustler I'm a motherfucking hustler If it ain't about the money Don't call me, don't text you niggas by me this shit, I'm a lonely never need a bitch Tell my bitches like I'm caught, I'm always pleading a fist Can't never love a hoe, don't be for playing the click And I wish a bitch would say she pregnant by this I'm on the north, I'm on the north with Diego Smoking top notch, looking for another play hey ho I ain't looking for a bitch, ride a peril Get a couple plays from your pimp, get out my fucking face So I'm a gangster, I always been thugging with the homies But I never gave a fuck, my dad told me not to hold it Hustler bitch, call me top flight and pull your band Run let this back smile, put a me on ODs Pull up on me, you gon' see gorilla stone with gang signs, try to think you bold and I'ma show you how I play mine, keep the chopper car cause I ain't running down the main line, we finna have a body say nothing cause I'm game time bitch stop calling me <laughs> Adopt US Kids presents what to expect when you're expecting a teenager learning the lingo today I'm going to help parents translate teen slang now when a teen says something is on fleek, it's exactly like saying that's rad it simply means that something is awesome or cool. Another one is totes. It's exactly like saying totally, just shorter. As in, I totes love going to the mall with Becca. Another word you might hear is jelly. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will think you're, um... Rad, just the same. To learn more, visit adoptuskids.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org caregiving. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. And we are back, y'all. We have now reached the, my personal favorite part of the show, Hottie's Hot Seat. So we just gonna get right show, into like, it, y'all. We gonna get right, right into it, cause y'all know we about to get into the shenanigans. No, I'm your you know, favorite. You my favorite part of the show. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, week. see, that's cause it's a little hot, okay? So we just gonna get Man. right into it, y'all. The shenanigans. Goddamn. Yeah, yeah I am. I'm sorry. Week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you saw these. You see these tights. All right, so I got a good question for y'all today. True or false, y'all? Okay. Come on. Y'all ready for it? Come on with it. All right. So true or false? Only 90% of men can make a woman have an orgasm Whoa. from oral sex. Not sex. 90%? 90%, 90 oh, of men can't. 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 That's what I'm going to say. Can't. It feels good to be a 10%. So hold on. Let me repeat that. Can I repeat that? 90% of men can't 
make a woman have an orgasm from oral sex. Well, okay. I okay. would I would True counter or false. that. Hold on, wait, wait. I would counter that with I think that's like false but for a different reason. Okay. Because I would counter that with only thirty percent of women can actually have an orgasm at all. So then that's a fact. Uh-oh. From oral sex though? Cause... No, no, from sex period. See, but... Any kind of sex. Only thirty percent of y'all can actually achieve an orgasm at all. That's what y'all doing it yourselves or us doing it to them. But I bet yes. you every woman have definitely had an orgasm from their clit, like at some point in their life. Every every woman. Um, it's some. I feel like some... every woman can. All right. I'm okay. gonna say every all woman right. can. Right. I like that. Okay, yeah. I feel okay. like that. Yeah. Okay, it's possible if they didn't, uh, they just not getting the a right. They clit might be different from you know all that, but. I feel like personally, every woman can have an orgasm from their clit. So you right. don't think that now vaginally? Mm. Do you think that women these days are a little bit desensitized down there now, just Cut based the on roses the, and shit? Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> like no, no, no. Right. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. To build you got on all that, these toys and shit, fucking your shit up. Yeah, to build on that. I would say the point is overstimulation. There's too much. Like y'all get just as much stimulation. As we do now as men. Like naturally, growing up as men, we shit, we horn dogs anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a fact. Right? <laughs> right? I think though, now with this new generation of women, I feel like you guys are coming out like that too now. Like it's like some women are very, very sexually aggressive, mm-hmm. hypersexual. They like they love it, like we do. So when you doing it to a certain point. Like we do. Remember, fellas, when you reached yeah. that point where you was like, man, pussy ain't shit. You, we all had that day, uh, right? Where you was like, this really ain't shit. Like y'all reach that way faster than you should. Because in the beginning, in the beginning of things, it was always virginity. It was keep my body count low. I don't want to deal with a lot of men. Now y'all don't give a fuck. So age six, fuck it. I'll be fair. Age 17, she fucking, right? So she got multiple partners under her belt. By the time she's 25, she probably got at least 10 to 15 bodies on her, right? By the time she's in her 30s, tell your story. come on. Tell your story. So I'm, I'm, hey. I'm really trying to, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell your story. So I was like, I was, uh, yeah, because I'm really like, I was, I was 18, right? Come on. Working at McDonald's, I meet this girl, she come in. We start shopping it up, got her number, blah, blah, blah. She's 20. Go to her house, and, you know. Chill at the I wasn't smoking at the time, so we just talking. You know, we end up smashing or whatever. Smack a couple more times, yeah. and then uh, uh, the yeah. question came up. She was like, "How many people you have sex with?" I'm only 18, bro. I'm like, "Uh, like three? She like, "Oh," and she didn't say nothing. So I'm, we sit there. I'm like, "How many people you have sex with?" She said, "Oh, 19." I said, "And hey, you how old?" She said, "20." I said, "What the fuck?" She said, "16 dudes and four girls." And I was like, "Did you do a three? She said, "No, that was all. It was all separate." But sixteen dudes, and Great she had a lot of Caesar's go, bro. 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 Damn, bro. Okay, so, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell that she did that. It used to be a time where tell you that. I'm age. like, she was twenty, so <laughs> I'm like, that's <laughs> damn near. That's twenty years so you ago. Feel basically, is what you're saying is you, you feel like women now have a, a higher. Um, What's the word I'm looking sex for? Drive sex or? drive than men now? I will. Is that what you're saying? Cause I don't wouldn't say more, but I would say it's damn near even and even now. Have like like I've. <laughs> I feel like it is like you, that, but. Okay, you remember y'all? I don't know if y'all ever was around. If y'all y'all mamas was single at any point or anything like that. I remember her talking to her friends about now knowing now and growing up. Yeah, they was talking about men. They were talking about sex. Right. I'm a kid. I didn't know what the hell they was talking about at the time. I I thought that shit was like way out. When I got older, I'm like, damn, mom. Like you, was... <laughs> Have you ever sat and listened to your female friends talk about niggas? Nigga, is he, that nigga ain't got no dick or mm-hmm. that nigga, I'd push that nigga <laughs> face in my shit. Mm-hmm. Like y'all talk like we He's do now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I do feel like it's about even. You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay, I, but that still don't answer the question if it's true or false. If I say fa- I say false because that's I feel like, but you feel like it's the woman's neck. fault. That's why I think. Or, well, if only thirty percent of y'all y'all somebody fucking too much or not fucking enough. That's how no, I, feel. I, I personally feel like niggas is just not eating it right because at one point I wasn't coming at all. Like, and then I met somebody and boom, how I hard? thought I, I thought I was Man. the problem the whole time. Let me take what. 
So I we got feel a lot like of we got a lot of boys men just don't, don't know how to do it. I don't know if you talk to these niggas about this thing, but a lot of the niggas, a lot of the homies, and women is not telling these men. No, they be like, bro, I don't give a fuck. A lot ask ask some of the bros. They be like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, what you mean you don't give a fuck? You know she gonna go tell the homegirls what you like, what you right. about. Right. That's yeah. what I always think about. And, and they be like, sure, I don't give a fuck. I already too. got my nut off. Yeah. I'm like, bro, that's, that's crazy that you think like that. But it do they work talk, like bro. that too. As soon as you leave the house, they on the phone. Girl, let me tell you about this. I've been with homegirls that smashed a dude, and then they call people. And be like, girl, this nigga shit was trash. Da, da, da. I'm like, God damn. And that'll really stop her from dealing with him, too. I'm a, I've been in that position. And so I got That's why I told you no, bro. I'm not going in half assing on nothing. When she make that phone call about me, it's, <laughs> it's going to be some positive shit. So let me let me ask my my guests across yeah, the table. Yeah, I want to know. I, want, I, I would. I mean, what, do you go ahead? Ask your question again. No, so, okay. well, oh, Dex too. Oh yeah, Dex. Yeah. I got to yeah. So you, you feel like it's true or false? Like you feel like? I know. I know. I have to get him before he trying to get me. Look, <laughs> I think it's. Uh, let me see. Go ahead. I think it's a skill issue. Like mm. I don't know how to change the oil in my car. Somebody got to teach me how to do that shit. A car is complicated. A woman is complicated. Well, I don't have a car. Once I get a car, you gotta show me. Um, a woman is complicated. A car is fucking complicated. It's only so many people that know how to fix a car, right? Yeah, like, that know true. a car in and out. That's true. You got to spend time analogy. to learn that that's, shit. That's a good and analogy. And if somebody don't sit you down and teach you how to do that shit, then when the fuck are you ever going to know? So she needs a coochie but mechanic. But a lot of women are different, though. Yeah. Yeah. You might start using it. Hey, you're not doing it right. And they don't give a fuck. Doing it and they not Just like it. women let their oil go and go and go <laughs> to the motherfucker black. This is this, this damn shirt. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the tire my... just flat. She just keep putting hey, air in. Like, like, we gonna get our oil you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they will do that. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, yeah, get off That's fear. a good response. That's a good response. That's very good. Off fear, let me get you read that book. I'm trying to read that book. What book did you get that, bro? Off fear, let me get your opinion on it, bro. I'm leaving a few engines running. <laughs> I'm just gone. I'm about to catch the bus, baby. I'm sorry. I didn't. The, the car is off. That's hey, funny. Voice, what you think, man? What's the question again? Go ahead, honey. So basically, uh, my question was: Is it true or false that most men don't know how to give oral sex? That's basically what I asked. Yeah. I can't speak for most men. <laughs> I can only speak. I, yeah, I can only speak for me. I can't. So really. what about you? Then answer it for you. Then yeah, so I, it's, not, I, it's not an issue for you to. No, never. You, no, you run into that issue at never. all. Like you never ran into uh, ran into a, a woman that was like complicated, like Dex said. No, it's not. All you got to do is listen. That's to how it. I feel. I though I feel like that. if you know how to Just do listen. it, yeah. You know, if you know, if you I know, swear, it. like it's the clit. It's not it's the, the other. Exactly. Yeah. They be doing no. Wait, 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 wait. Don't some, go licking everywhere. Else. Now wait a minute. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Some women are different. Some women yeah, prefer. Some women the That's penetration true. of the tongue. Some women right. Right. like it when you finger them. Why you suck the clit? Some of them don't yeah. want fingers. But whatever you do, just stay on the clit though. Just stay right. on the Even clit. if yeah, like, what, like, so what, that's like, very like, important. Wait, 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 wait. So you talking about like? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So you talking about like take your thumb and like peel back the pearl? Peel, <laughs> yeah, like peel really back the clit to the pearl tongue, you know like saying? to that pearl right. tongue pop out, right? I mean, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, that part right there. Get in there. Oh, I got a question for Hadi. Don't play with me, Hadi. Let me ask you a question. I've always, I've always wondered this. When the dude be whack, right? Why y'all let him finish? Why you just don't stop and say, "All right, I'm, I'm, I'm done." I, well, Wait. Okay, well, no, no, let me no. feel this. What? Did I you really stop waiting a minute? No, hell no. Oh. I yes, be I have, bro. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, so, I have, bro. So, so, you are. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna yeah, stop her? Hell yeah, bro. And me gobble. Why are we doing? What are we doing here? Why are we here? Why are we here? Why are we here? I mean, I personally, I'm just gonna suggest. Why are we here, bro? You feel me? Nah. Uh, just be like, you know, tell him to come. You know what I'm saying? Why? Yeah, why? Why, like, why though? Like, how many times does it gotta fall out and the nigga just man? Like, hey, bitch, you gonna throw some feathers? I never, I never understood that. Times gotta fall out. I never understood that. How many times does it gotta? To not make it awkward, just ask him to change positions until he not. But why though? Fuck him again. Why? Why you just don't be like, nigga, stop? I'm just asking. Why you don't put him out with a Bluetooth? It depends. Actually, I'm gonna say this. It depends on the person. It depends on the person. Yeah, I see. Because if it's a nigga, I'm just we just fucking. I'm probably not gonna fuck you again. Just I'm not gonna. But take he, you gonna let him bump my? Why, why you let him? But finish? if I'm really feeling you, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you about my body. I'm gonna guide right. you through it. Like I taught most of my boyfriends how to eat my pussy. So. 
Cause I'm one of them complicated ones. I told y'all, like I thought I was the problem for a long time. That shit is not. But I just found out men just don't know how to do it. It's not hard to do. Men just don't know how to how to do it. Y'all don't. How many women take like you actually just you just said it. You actually showed your niggas that you fucked with yeah, how like, that you that, prefer. Like, those niggas how say, many like, women actually them. take the time to explain to their man, this is how I like it? They not letting them it's know. Not hard. It's they, not hard. And the niggas, niggas is thinking they doing something. Like, yeah, it's I know not, how to eat yeah, it. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> no. Like, I, I think, like, uh, yo, this shit, buddy. Is, uh, <laughs> like, you feel me? So, women, please, like, y'all got to start imagine. telling the fellas out there, y'all. Ladies, let them know. Hey, let me ask a question. So they can start learning. Let me ask a question. So, voice, let me ask you this. Can the look of a woman's vagina turn you off? Oh, that's a good question. Like, like, let's say this shit look like Arby's. <laughs> Bruh. Which top robin? Or what got them doing? big clips. Yeah, like, yeah, I like them big no, clips. No, 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 wait, wait. Don't lead him. Don't lead him. Don't lead him. Because I want him to, whatever an ugly, oh, no, no, let me stop. Let me stop. Uh, 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 two, <laughs> What's the, whatever a, um, how can I put this? To you personally, whatever you would picture as an unattractive Chitlins. vagina. Oh, shit. Chitlin lips. Every week I almost get <laughs> there. But fuck. But look, so whatever your image of an unattractive vagina is, <laughs> does that turn you off? Or can you just blot that out? <laughs> I mean, it just ain't getting eight, or <laughs> if it stank, I mean, oh, I don't oh, want to touch it. Oh, that's, oh, a yeah. ball. Yeah. Boy, yeah. that's a different uh, ball uh, game with it stank. I know, I know, I know. Game, I know. that's what I'm okay, saying. Because okay, everyone okay. you know <laughs> eat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. Some so of them you just not, look so you at just them. you not eating it, you're going to still hit, though. What, if what? You still, so you just not eating the coochie, right? If she got an ugly coochie, yeah. 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 So you still, still smack though. You might so still, still smack. So you still don't smash. You just not eating. It, yeah, not, if it don't stink. Yeah. What's your okay? Okay, <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Why do you? Okay, <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm about to fuck voice up right now. Look, look, at voice, voice. I'm about to fuck you up right now. Oh, what shit. excuse do you give in that moment? Like, right, like, let's say you okay, you meet Shorty. She bad as fuck, bro. Like, she met her at one of these industry parties, bro. She bad. Mm -hmm. She like, yeah, I want to go back to your place. Y'all pull up, man. And y'all already talked about it. Already text. talked you about already it. It's already you her, yeah. You know you smacking. No, no, wait, wait, hold on. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. She, he know because because trust me, if she bad, we eating. Like I'm just keeping it real. Like if cause, you know what I'm saying, if if she bad, we going we gonna Sometimes. eat. Sometimes is that Sometimes. true? Yeah, okay. yeah, if yeah. she bad, if she bad, let's say she's that kind of bad, bro. Like this is I might not. Yeah, this let's just say you know that this is what you're gonna do. Damn, the voice is shaking his head like but, nah, because I didn't. So I, what makes a girl edible? I mean. Yeah, like that's nothing that's makes me want to do that. That is nasty. First I'm not drinking yeah. no nothing bacteria, makes me want to do that. Dead skin oh, and man. shit. You know what's going on in his hair right now? Because we've seen the other side, or we know these girls that you're talking about, friends, and know how they really live and get down with the whole little thing. So I'm not. And doing plus, if you that. if you dealt with if I know somebody that you slept with. That's just gonna flash in my oh, head, yeah, yeah, told you. and I'm not gonna want to. I'm not gonna, wanna, I'm yeah. not gonna yeah. want to really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that's how you're yeah. right. Yeah. Like that's just gonna make me be like, man, he did him, him, yeah. him. All right, so him, what makes a girl him. desirable? What makes her edible? I want to go back to the. Eating I mean, if you look good, you smell good. I mean, you know, good. that's you like nice, the main thing. Right. Yeah, you look nice. And when you, know you cold, the way it look matters for sure. And when you cold with the tongue, like like I am, bro, I'm choosy, homie. Like you got to like you got to do something different. You can't just be. Like you know, you feel me? Just yeah. regular, regular. You don't just throw everybody, right, honey? No, no right. Don't. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like that now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, I know I can make a woman come with what I do. I ain't bragging, but yeah, I'm so choosy. Confident. I'm just gonna shove my face in, in anything. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. I don't want to get on. If she, but, unless she bad though, because that's what you if, said. If she you bad, said okay. She if bad. she bad, but I'm just no. This is hypothetical, right? This is you know she bad enough to where it's like okay, yeah, I want to see what she tastes like. Mm -hmm. You in that position? My question is. What excuse, fellas, do you give a woman in that moment? She already, you down there. Yeah. And she, she just pulled her panties down. Yeah. And then Arby's pop out. Right? Yeah. How you, it's, <laughs> let's say it smell good Arby's enough. Popcorn. Let's say it smell good enough to eat. All right. But you don't want to eat this. What do you do? I'm going to start with you off here. I want to know what y'all going to do. Yo, What do you do in that moment? There you go. I'm freaky. I'm freaky. I'm freaky. I done pulled up to the army line. I done tried a little army. You done ordered some off the meat. I ain't going to say. I ain't turned so much. Off here. You ain't alone. You ain't alone. You ain't alone. You ain't alone. Okay, so you never ate. 
Nothing like that at all. Like I, no, he's saying I, I, I tried. Yeah. I, 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 I tried. Do what you I, gotta I, do. That ain't my. That ain't my company. That ain't Dex. That ain't my thing. Dex, you, what, what you doing, Dex? What, what you gonna do? You in the moment. When I don't wanna fuck with it, my stomach hurt. <laughs> that's a good excuse. That's, that's, the that's, that's the one they use. Because that's the one they use. That's why Hottie laughing. We use. That's we use. That's disrespectful. We use. We start our period. We don't oh, feel good. God. I'm crapping right now. Shit. <laughs> I ain't shit. I was, I was just be like. Now you do know though there is a way of eating vagina while she on her period without getting any blood in your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. that's nasty. No, 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 no. And they do it. They oh, do it, y'all. Yeah, that's they nasty. Hold that idea on the other side. That's she nasty. Has nasty. Tampon if she has a tampon in and she just got off the shower. No blood. That's it. nasty. That. You got to oh, remember not, the uh, tampon stops the blood. Oh, that's like domestic violence. So, so not even. So, okay, so not even with the tampon. Not even with the tampon. Oh wait, it ain't that. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When girls, this on my, this on everything, bro. Look. Oh, wait, with oh, everything, bro. When girls finish their period, it was my baby mama. I wait. I go to my mama there. I went hell nah, bro. Oh man, come on, Miami, nah, bro. Let's let's hear it. We ain't putting the sponge in there and getting busy with. We ain't doing none of that. None of that. Uh, the sponge, the same shit. The same they do that at the pornos. Nah, no, I'm straight, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I even give a two day window, nigga. <laughs> that was violent. <laughs> that was violent. <laughs> That's him. That's him beating it up. God damn. <laughs> That's rough. But I just said send it back out there. Okay, all right. Hurry. Okay, so now I want to. Uh, <laughs> matter of fact, let's go to break. We gonna go to this, we gonna switch gears when we come back. That was a dope ass segment. Um, hey, listen. Also, if you would like to um, ask Hadi a question or have Hadi ask a question on the hot seat, then please also email her at the at gmail.com. That's t h e l a hottie at gmail.com. Speak, say it to the mic one more time. Oh, that's t h e l a hottie at gmail.com. Make sure y'all tap in, y'all. I want to hear from y'all. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to roll you guys into some more stacks, smooth sounds. All right, so you stay where you are, keep it locked, it's up and stuck, and it never coming down. Oh, yeah, Cali's Finest Radio. We got a baby in the studio, y'all. Let's go.
People, the sound of a baby babbling doesn't mean much. But that's not necessarily true. By six months, they're combining vowels and consonants. By nine months, they're trying out different kinds of sounds. And by 12 months, their babbling is beginning to take on some meaning. Especially if there's no babbling at all. Little to no babbling by 12 months or later is just one of the possible signs of autism in children. Early screening and intervention can make a lifetime of difference and unlock a world of possibilities. Take the first step at AutismSpeaks.org. A public service announcement brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> the dad joke. Corny, groan-worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. <laughs> and kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> and with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment and give your kid a laugh. <laughs> it's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. <laughs> That's really funny. We back in the building, man. We got videography royalty all around. Yeah, this my type of show, right? You here. feel me? Like I, I'm, I'm really digging this, man. I'm really into this. Um, so I want to get into C Mac. All right, because we you brought him up earlier <laughs> off here. Nice. Now, so you got the opportunity to meet him, yeah. boys. You, you have you linked with C Mac? Yeah, yeah, I did. So okay, with okay, him. for sure, for sure. I'm assuming. Oh, okay, so okay, yeah. so for sure. Hadi at all you ever bump no, in a you uh shooter okay no, no, okay yeah. for sure so i don't know if y'all know this or not but june the 22nd okay, okay, okay. there's a press conference okay um c mac 
and Bosco. Nice. Um, brought to you by 1111 Network, Global yeah. Hustle, LA Media Spill, KSP Entertainment. Um, shout out to Nick, uh, Cam, Cuddy, Lex, the whole squad. Um, they're going to be getting it on. They're going to be getting in the ring. They're going to do the celebrity boxer thing. I had the privilege uh, to ring announce for the Bosco Nina Boy fight. You know, it was still an honor to do it. Um, but I'm hope, hoping to announce this one. I just want to get your opinion. Who you got? I'm going to start with you off here. Like, oh, who, who, who <laughs> walk? Come on, is there a knockout who walks out with this one? Oh, C-Max. I'm yeah. 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 I got yeah. Mac. He, he got to do his stuff. Boys, who you got? Who I got? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> who y'all got? <laughs> I, got I got Mac. No disrespect to Bosco, but that Nina Boy fight was uh, a. Be for real. I'm going to keep it real with you. I was on the phone with Brick Baby yesterday. Shout out to Everything Hazel. And he said all the Crips is behind Bosco. Oh, for real? He said, Craig, when I, as soon as I mentioned the fight, because he, he, you know, he, he, there's a business he's going to be mm-hmm. doing with 11 11. And he said, shit, he said, when, as soon as I mentioned Bosco's name, he said, shit, Bosco's our guy. What? He said all the Crip niggas. He said all the Crip niggas is really getting behind Bosco. That's crazy. I saw an interview with Crip Mac, and he was saying, uh, he said, uh, he was saying, uh, not Crip Mac, uh, Brick Baby. Uh-huh. And he was saying when the, him and uh, Crip Mac was in the in the, in the county together, he's like he was catching fades. It's like he wasn't scared of nobody. Uh, I, I, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. And you know, no, you know, no shade to Crip. Who you got Mac from whatsoever. watching from watching that Nina Boy and Bosco fight? Who okay. you got? Okay, let's not forget. There's there's a couple of factors, sis, and I talked about this before. A couple factors. We know that Bosco was working with his with a bad knee. He was still fresh off of a motorcycle accident from a couple months ago. He couldn't really move. He still showed up. He still did his thing. That's what's up. Now I'm not gonna take nothing from Nina either. But one thing I will say is Bosco ain't no bitch. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know which way it goes. C Mac, I don't think he no bitch either. And he hungry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, now that he out. So, I mean, it could go either way. But if you had if I had to pick somebody, I will go Bosco just because Bosco has previous boxing experience. Boxing isn't fighting. That's you know true, what I'm yeah. saying? That's true. So, you know what I mean? So, and I have seen some of the punches that C Mac throwing. And it's like, okay, somebody gotta teach him a little technique. Mm-hmm. Cause he, he he tends to his elbows come out. I used to do a little boxing. His elbows come out when, when he swings. Swing. Uh-huh. If you do that in a boxing ring, gonna see the coming. right fighter is going to yeah. be able to sneak. He's going to be able to sneak. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm just keeping that real. So I'm not saying that C Mac don't. I'm, he got just as <laughs> much chance as Bosco does, but he does need some training. My understanding is that they've already kind of started doing their training and whatnot. Dex, who you got? C Mac. You got C Mac. You said that, that that the Western names don't really. He was fucking with Rick. I was talking with Bosco, but. They was not really fucking with C Mac like that in the first place, That's anyways. Cause, mm-hmm. You know he kind of slow and dumb. Like he can't okay. like like the niggas that you talking about fuck with Bosco or like level headed like like they can have a conversation <coughs> with niggas. Like mm-hmm. C Mac is you know not gonna mend with them niggas in the first place. So they ain't not even gonna fuck mm-hmm. with them. Anyways. Okay. And then you know T Mac is slow. You know them niggas strong. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, V, uh, V two. You know how to throw a little bit now. It's like yeah, you know. If they uh V two. They throw you. Yeah. They say uh, twenty racks to jump in the jump in the ring with another cameraman. <laughs> jump in the ring with, with another cameraman. Oh yeah, gonna, I like this. Do I like it. this. Yeah, I do it. You gonna do it? It's Probably like more than twenty though. My, it sounds like voice got somebody in mind. I do, but I ain't that, gonna say it. As soon as you said that, I was like, "Oh, really? Who?" He said, yeah. "Do what?" Yeah, I I three in mind for sure. I, I see I that. Uh, voice a big dude. It's another cameraman. Say it. Just another cameraman. Yeah, something like that. You know what? That's perfect segue into one of my into one of my videography questions. Do cameramen have rivalries? That's yeah, that's yeah. I did want to ask that question. Like, not rivalries like necessarily, Man. you know. They be hating y'all, y'all. Not really like enemies or nothing like that. We're not gang members. You but know? y'all do have y'all competition. We got not you even jealousy. You, I guess you can say. Yeah, more like that. Not really Players. even competition. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not even people that kind of like steal your style and you know mm-hmm. run off and. You know what I'm saying? Sound like Stuff they like that. To me. Yeah, exactly. Like them type of people. Right. It ain't yeah. really like ops. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They it ain't will, that uh, serious. Like we see each other. We not yeah. go do anything right. to each other. I'm pretty sure. One I thing I do give cameraman, they don't uh they don't shit on each other though. They won't they won't say nothing bad about you yeah, to other people. They just like, all right, I haven't had it. What? 
And I, I've never said nothing bad. Even if I don't fuck with their work, I'll be like, oh, you okay, that's what you're working with? All right, I, mean, I guess. Yeah, but, exactly. you know, I, I, I have... Niggas do hate, though. Mm-hmm. The cameraman don't. They will tell you that I'm going to work with you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they, they don't work with you. I had a cameraman from Texas come out here. And uh, he was working with DMX. He came out here. I, I met him. I was, and he was like, what's your name? I said, respect the shooter. Follow me and shit. This nigga uh, get back to Texas. Maybe like two weeks into him getting back home. This nigga had a shirt that said respect the shooter on it. Oh. I said, this motherfucker, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Was, this that's motherfucker, bro. <laughs> that's he was trying to sell the motherfuckers. What? With his oh. using that name, oh, that's, not a that's why I had to go. With L- I had to go LLC oh, my yeah, shit. That's crazy. I was like, this motherfucker he heard my name and said, "Bro, I'm gonna take this shit back to Texas." Yeah. And tried to make a profit off that shit, bro. I, feel it. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Okay, um, okay. So you ain't gonna let me get my shit off? Oh, go ahead. My bad. These niggas that don't like me for sure. Talk your shit. You want to see what happened to the last nigga that don't like me? Talk that Let's shit. See. I ain't gonna show it. I was about to say it's a video. <laughs> I just want you to see. Just keep it that way. This nigga beat niggas up. You did that. No. Nah, 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 nah. That's back home. That's back home. It's just niggas that like me. You know what I'm saying? I heard that. So is I it just... over like the camera? See, look, this is what happened with bro. So I never met bro. Like never talked to him a day in my life, right? I shoot a video with artists out here. I'm not really fucking with it like that. So I'm like, look, bro, like it's a couple of people I sent you like that can edit it, but I can't really edit it right now. I'm too busy. So I sent them the footage. Mind you, I did this for free. So I don't have to edit it and do the whole little mm-hmm. shit. Like, I was just fucking with him because I fuck with him. So I'm like, here, bro can edit it and then he'll take it together. This nigga finds somebody totally different to do it. The nigga puts directed by him mm-hmm. on the shit. Mm-hmm. Everything, put some bullshit effects, put his 10 second uh, intro. Like, it's long as fuck with his logo. It's 10 seconds at the beginning and the end of the video. And then that shit come out. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. So I hit him. He like... Oh, you bitch ass nigga! I'm like, I never met this nigga. This nigga say you bitch ass nigga, bro. I, yeah, I can't. Nah. Did that make sense? Nah, <laughs> but that's why I changed my term. I call my name respect the shooter because uh, niggas don't be they don't respect you, bro. I be I do some shit. I be like, bro, just tag me. Don't don't trip. Niggas, will post a picture, or post a video. Don't tag me. I be like, nigga, come on, that's bro. Why you got to get paid from it. Uh, yeah. That way you don't worry about the tag. Yeah. That's yeah, the, you do that free work and be like, oh yeah, tag me. See, and then they don't tag. Yeah, you. that's true. You did free work. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm trying to do shit out the goodness you know of my heart. You got paid. I mean, you don't tag. Yeah. Me, you don't tag. Me. That's, that's the true. pivot point for me that I want to get into right here. As <laughs> as videographers, it's a lot of you know a lot of times when you first start out doing this, it, there are a lot of homie hookups, right? Like I know that because like my first year doing promo, I did promos for free. Like just you know what I'm saying, pulling up on people and just you know what I'm saying, doing my thing, stuff that I charge for now. But in yeah. the beginning, when you first start, you can't really charge because nobody knows who you are. Then once you reach a certain point, now it's like, okay, I have a value. Mm-hmm. Um, what was that moment for y'all? What at what moment did you tell yourself, or what client did you finish shooting for? Or at what point did you tell yourself, you know what? Price going up Like I, I can't do this free no more I need to get paid right And when I'm talking about right Like for your value Like was there a particular point Or did you already Kind of have that mindset I'll start with you voice I kind of already had that mindset When <clears throat> business was just coming out and Out of control You know what I'm saying and it's like I'm not about to be Stressing myself out Doing all these videos For $150 or something like that right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying you always, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like you got 20, 30 videos on the table And they're $150 Or whatever you charge mm-hmm. That's underpriced And it's mm-hmm. like You know you're not making no money But you're working hard mm-hmm. And you stressed out Cause they blowing up your phone <laughs> Hey bro <laughs> How's the video coming Man. along video And it's 30 like minutes I didn't even bro. charge you Oh god no <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying I charge you $100 Or whatever I, I charge it, you even $300, yeah. whatever. That's crazy. You That's the I'm same saying? gripe every video. He tell me all the time. Same. Y'all go through the same kind of like, you know what I'm saying? But, but bro, you know what editing is? You know what editing is, my nigga? That's what, bro, you got to sit down with the shit. I got to no, go through your real. footage. I got to try to match the lips. I got to listen to your song Add color over and up. over. Bro. Yeah, color correction. Bro, I got to do a lot of shit. Especially when I gotta listen to a trash ass song, that shit. I'll be like, bro. Then it gets stuck in your head. I'm like, nigga, why am I singing this shit? That's when I get to procrastinating. It take a little yeah, longer yeah, to finish right. the video. <laughs> <laughs> take a little bit longer. It might take me a week. It'll be done yeah. next week. It'll be done next It'll week. Be done. Next week, cub it still ain't done. Yo, really? Yeah, man. I just had a lot going on. Yo, really? <laughs> I'm getting back to it. Off oh, here. What was that oh, moment shit. for you when you say, you know what? Yeah, nigga, pay pay me. 
You know hey, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I had that moment. Like, even working with Crim Mag, I had to tell you, like, hey, I need my increments, man. Like, <laughs> after three, four, five videos, you try to work with big artists. You try to, you know, like you said, get your foot in the door. Try to give them, like, you know, $300 deal, $200 deals, you feel me? But you know your work. Yeah. You feel me? It, it comes to that point where you like, hey, look, come on, bro. No I'm not getting no money on, if your YouTube blow up, you get, you get 30 million views. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gonna call me? You gonna call no. You feel me? That's that's facts, that streaming money, you gonna call me? Yeah. No, nah, I, I just paid me my little whatever. I, it's just nothing, really. It ain't even no money. No, so, let me know. Yeah, I get it. So, what... <laughs> What's the future? Okay, y'all. Now I was watching something the other day, and they talked about AI. Okay, and AI is on the top of everybody's minds right now. One of the things AI does is they re it remasters photos, remasters videos, can Voices. edit. Now they, they now yeah now they got AI that can actually edit. That can you know it's rough shit. It's nothing you guys can do. But it's, it's not you know, real editing. It's just podcasts. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I mean, but we we see the future, yeah, right? I like we see video, what's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you be able to feed in a, a thirty minute a thirty minute show and have it, it edited this, down sure. to yeah, edit it down to 15, 15 minutes and, and five minute clips. You give you six five minute clips and give you you know what I'm saying one solid block of time. Like you know what I'm saying? It'll look at least look decent, right? So how do you guys like? Do you do you feel like that's something you guys will ever as videographers will have to combat? With with the 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 um with AI and the advancements with it, or do you think that the the human element of camera work is something that makes it what it is? The human element for sure. I don't really know exactly what AI is. I think it's just effects on videos. Mm -hmm. I don't really know, but if that's what it is, I mean, everybody don't care for effects and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it'll come in handy for the people, the artists that like those trippy type of effects and videos. But for the clean videos, you know what I'm saying? You got to do it on your own. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's going to always be around. I don't think that's going to ever get blown out the way because of AI. No, I don't yeah. think so either. When uh, the cameras start getting the, the, the better, I mean, I'm sorry, the phones start getting the better cameras, people used to be like, I mean, what you going to do now? Because yo, you're going to lose your job. I ain't, I ain't lost nothing. Because, exactly. you know, exactly. but, uh, just shit, it ain't no competition. I, when niggas show up editing on phones, I'll be like, all right, bro, you just, you doing your shit. I guess <laughs> that's what you had. Yeah. What, matter of fact, what you edit on? Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. That's, that's what I always hear, y'all. That's yeah. the one. What camera you got, Sony? A7S3. All right, for sure. These niggas talk about cameras like, like, like custom AKs. Man. Like, <laughs> I got the Sony AK40 with the, you know what I'm saying? With the Nutrisonic Blast. You ever, uh, you, you you ever work with an artist? And you like nigga, I ain't gonna work with this nigga no more. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah I got a lot. I got a lot of artists, <laughs> especially females. They be Bro. worse. Let us hear one story. What? Give us one story when you was like, you know what? I ain't coming back. I ain't working with him no yeah. more. Yeah. It see the shooting part don't be the complicated part. It's the editing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like how they bug you afterwards or something. Nah, like when you send the video back to certain artists. Mm. Like uh, women, uh, women uh, don't like certain type of angles. <laughs> like, don't like, nothing. I don't like low the angles. Nothing. Yeah, I have a angle. double chin. Can you yeah. take that scene out? <laughs> I don't really like that scene. Mm -hmm. Nah, I definitely don't like that scene. I don't like how we doing the whole video. Women are no, no perfectionists lie. when it comes <laughs> yeah. to stuff like that. We're so hard on ourselves. No yeah. lie. Can and then you send the face? video back. You know what? I like it the original way that you did it. Man. <laughs> I'd be like, nah. Bro, that's happened a lot, man. Nah, I don't have the original copy <laughs> now, so now I got to redo this again. Like, man. Nah. That's on every day. That's that editing is just a joke. You, you know how it is. Just yeah, no, yeah, I know. I, I totally empathize because... I edit one minute clips for my for my Instagram and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and you know I'm decent, but I I totally understand what y'all going through editing hours. Yeah. It take me a long a time footage. to edit a TikTok. You feel that's I'm what like, I'm saying. Yeah. So imagine a music like video, so making yeah. sure that your mouth is synced, up, yeah. making sure the color is all there, yeah. making sure it's interesting to other people that's going to watch yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this because we're reaching the more. twilight of the show. So let me ask y'all one final question. Was um give me a real quick tell me about a time when you had almost nothing to work with to shoot for somebody like let's say they they you had your ideas on how you want to shoot this but the artists themselves sometimes they can be stubborn mm -hmm. no I know how I want my video to look but you pull up and this they got a white background or something and they like okay I want this this and this and ain't none of that shit realistic right tell me about a time when you just you made it work like you know what I'm saying. I shot this one video just in the middle of the street. 
at night time. That's it. Right. Mm-hmm. No other scenes, really no B roll, just performance scenes back and forth. Right. And they loved it. It was a hard video. And that's all I had to work with. That's right. Sometimes Some artists don't even have know no. what the hell they want. Yeah. I'm like, so what idea you got for it? I don't know. Like, bro, didn't you write the song? This is your <laughs> song, bro. They don't know how to think about, like, in a video perspective. Like, when they write the songs for yeah. some reason, I don't of, understand why. Don't, don't, either, that's bro. why, because me as an artist, when I write music, even before I started writing, when I used to hear other people's music, I could easily visualize, mm-hmm. like, yeah. a picture mm-hmm. or video to go with them lyrics or mm-hmm. the vibe of the song or, you know, so... When I write, I'm already thinking about like, oh, I can do this in this video, or I can do that. The easiest thing so, to do is just listen to the lyrics and, and do what the lyrics the are saying. saying yeah. mm-hmm. But sometimes rappers don't really be talking about nothing. Because they freestyle album. a lot. Yeah. So when they freestyle and they don't really take take the time to actually write their lyrics, mm-hmm. that's why they don't have a vision because they were just going in there and just saying whatever just came out of their head. And then you know it's like you saying? can't reenact it's everything. Long, 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 long. That that's happening. And that's that's really happening. They they often. be forgetting the words. Well, you said how do they yeah. perform a song? Yeah. Well, I'm sure before they perform, they probably you know, nah. listen Some to the song make a over and songs. over. But when they be in the studio though, they mm-hmm. just freestyle, and that's why it's no vision to go with that video. Yeah. You feel me? Because like, well, I really wasn't trying to go nowhere. I was just talking shit. So I had, I was like, uh, that's when it get hard. Yeah. yeah. I, I shot for this R&B group, and uh, I listened to the song. I was like, all right, so we need like it was like four of them or five of them. I was like, y'all, y'all gonna need some girls because y'all just can't be dudes in this video. They're like, all right, we're gonna invite some homegirls. Bro, it's like two girls. It's <laughs> hey, like it's hard to there. get women off for video. Bro, there's like <laughs> eight niggas in the video. I'm like, bro, dude, it's a love song too. So I'm like, bro, what <laughs> nah, the fuck be, did we just do, man? It'd be worse when they'd be like, yeah, because uh, they already know that we need females for the video and everything like that. They were like, all right, I'm going to call the homegirls and they're going to come out, you know what I'm saying? Or these females that I, I deal with, they're going to yep, come out to the yep. video shoot. They already said they with it. Yep. They are the shoot. Uh, yeah, they said they on their way still. <laughs> Hour later. Yeah, I mean, if they don't come, it's whatever. I ain't really tripping. We don't even need females for the video. I guess I'm we like, do. You got to pay models, man. Hey, it's yeah, real. I'm going to tell you this. Y'all need to start paying women. Women is not, if they don't know you, or you're not like a, a close friend or mm. a popping artist that can like really help them elevate or something. They're not gonna care to come. What like, you I'm about do to show is, us, exactly. what you do is, you, is you call, them. you call stacks. That's what you do. Call stacks. Mm-hmm. Now I get them to pull up. <laughs> Management company. That's a fact. The ladies love stacks. Oh, that's a son. fact. They want money though. They know where the money. No, no, no. But I, that's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm gonna let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I, like they know yeah. if I'm gonna let y'all know. I do videos and I want money. Okay. Want so money. I'm right. letting everybody know. Yeah, that's about to come out on your own gas and your own. you wanna look and you wanna look nice in the video too. What if I wanna buy me a nice outfit? I gotta use my own money to buy me an outfit for your video. For, for you not to tag me Because most yeah. of the time The do. dancers don't even get tagged We yeah, do not get facts. tagged That's facts. That's when I stopped doing stuff For popping artists They don't tag you So it's like Nobody knows who I am In that video mm-hmm. It's like okay mm-hmm. Yeah I'm in your video mm-hmm. It's a good look For the people that do know me But the yep. people that don't know me They don't know who that is In that video They just Oh it's a pretty girl Yeah It's no facts. tag or nothing So I'm it, not about to pull about, up for free It's about how you package it You just gotta have the wherewithal To go Like there's 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 clips on my page that I met a celebrity for fucking five minutes, but I got the most out of that five minutes, mm-hmm. right? So you take that clip and you, you go on YouTube and you find where you find where they got it at and you go and snatch that clip and then you put it in front of your audience and they'll put two and two together. And if they loyal to you, they'll tag that person. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? You got to find ways around certain shit because people are going to kind of try to cap, try to cap you off at you, you know, at, on your success because they don't want you to outshine them. So you know what I'm saying. So you got to know your ways around. And some it. dudes be gatekeeping too. Yeah. Well, you got to be. That's they what I'm be saying. Trying to gatekeep, like you, no. You got to know me. how to. You got to know how to circumnavigate that. You got to get around it because. But it's even if you're trying to get their audience, it's like if he posts a video on his page and don't tag me, I don't really get that audience. You get what I'm saying? Because it's on his page, whatever. I could take that clip and post it on my page, but that's still for my followers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like. So it didn't really do nothing. Trust me, I didn't dance for big artists like, and it's done nothing. So like everything you, is still only me. So you take those clips real quick. I'll give you some quick drop a quick promo jewel for you. All of these videos you've been in, all these clips that you got. Why do you not have a scissor reel, right? Like mm-hmm. why don't you have a reel of your hottest clips with these celebrities, right? And then you have that, 
Get your build your portfolio. Go take your headshots. Put that all in a bundle. Get yourself because it's not just artists that need EPKs. <coughs> Should even videographers have press kits, right? Mm-hmm. That where they can show what they've done before, mm-hmm. right? So you do the same thing as a model, dancer, whatever you want to do. You have a grouping of your content and you use that to pitch. And that gives somebody less, to, that gives them less, they can't really turn down too much because people need content nowadays. Yeah, but that's sure. just, you know what I'm saying? That's just a sidebar for you. Mm-hmm. Like you have the content, just package it right and you get there. But okay, yeah. so um, we're in the twilight of the show. So we're going to go around the table and I want everybody to drop their platforms. Let them know if you got something going on, let them know as well. Um, I'm gonna start with you, voice man. First off, thank you for coming down. Yeah, well, no problem, no problem. Appreciate, appreciate y'all. Yeah, appreciate appreciate y'all. Sure. You know, voice too hard on Instagram. V O I C E number two H A R D. I mean, that's really why I be on. I don't really be on Twitter like that or nothing. So I feel it. If you need a popping ass video, you know what I'm saying, man. Not for real, dude. I hear voice. It's hit voice, yeah, man. Like yeah, it's seriously, voice, man. You're like seriously, because he to polish. That's the one. That's the word I use to describe your videos. If polish, your girlfriend sure. need a video, <laughs> or your sister, your mama, or auntie, Niggas you call me. Nah, you call me. He cool, but <laughs> <laughs> he ain't all that. Yeah, I know somebody, somebody, somebody better. <laughs> Come on, Dex. Dex, man. P R D B W I D X on Instagram. There it is. Hey. You want to find Dex, Dex That's where Dex be at He shot mm-hmm. my very first video Y'all and did I'm Amazing I'm doing that man Don't worry about nothing Amazing I'm doing <laughs> Somebody get touched right? You already know LA Hottie Y'all can find me On all platforms At T-H-E-E L-A Hottie Y'all already know Don't Talk to me At me None of that If you ain't nasty Alright Hey That's crazy My middle name is nasty too What's up it's <laughs> No, it's your boy Respect the Shooter. You already know. If you want to find me, you can find me at uh, Four Boys Films. That's Ford. I like the car. BB? Boys with an S, films with an S. Come on. And once again, Stop if your mama, me. your auntie, your, your oh, sister, yeah. you know, they want videos, you hit me up. You can find me at uh, hashtag your girlfriend knows my real name. There it is. But address me as Respect the Shooter. <laughs> that part right there. Hey, listen, May the 27th, tomorrow, it's going down. It's the business fashion mixer. It's the business fashion mixer. No, um, don't forget to mention them. Oh, my boy, Off Air. My bad. Yeah, oh, make sure you tap in with Off Air. What's Off Air's? Uh, shot by Off Air. Shot by yeah, Off Air. Yeah, and then he has another say. one that says Off Air, too. Just type it in. You will see Don't he just got one that's like Off Air or underscore yeah, or something Yeah, it's got like some underscores in the shit, but type yeah. in Shot by Off Air. Off Air, I mean, think of the shot with Roddy Rich, all kind of people. You'll He, he going to pop right up. But, uh, man, once again, thank you to everybody that came today, man. This was a fantastic show. This gave me a lot of insight as a marketer, just knowing how you guys move. So, for that, I am definitely grateful. Make sure y'all stay tapped in with us, okay? Listen, this is your boy. With all the heat that turns shit to sugar and makes sugar taste twice as sweet. That's right. The promo king himself. Product. Five stacks and counting. And never forget that you are tapped in with the greatest. The greatest. The best. The best. The, best. the finest radio the finest you will ever radio. come in contact with. It's up. It's stuck. It ain't never coming down. California's finest radio. West Coast, nigga. Ugh. Trap Trinity, hold on to your cush blunts and your lace fronts. This is your number one choice for entertainment. Come it's on. your wood that always shine and keep the promos right on time. That's right, the promo king himself, product five stacks and count. You already know who it is. It's your girlfriend's favorite cameraman, Respect the Shooter. And you are listening to Cali's Finest on Power Radio Nation, broadcast live on iHeartRadio. Let's go. Ugh. Innovative.